What's that going on? Well, going to all of my nice and decent people. All there to all of my viewers and subscribers. Thank you very much for coming and visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. Now, today is going to be a reaction video two part for Dunce, Check, and Valiant Scholar. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do Scholar first. Cause Scholar is the answer to Dunce, Check. Now, there's a couple of things I want to go ahead and talk about this because I do like the style. I do like the flow. I do like the message that this guy is trying to say. And also, he's proven, he's trying to prove himself because, you know, um, he and Popcorn, which is one of those uh, elite names in when, it, when, you're, when, you're, when you think about dancehall, especially in dancehall right now, you know, Pop Garner is one of those names underneath all of the big names that we know worldwide, international, right? So, um, he is, have, have, he has something that's been going on between the two of them, and he recently, you know, if you follow any dance or anything like that, you know exactly what happened, and and um um valiant was definitely disrespected on stage by popcorn and so he has something to prove and i think with these two songs and and definitely in recent times with him coming out with with um he has made not necessarily a name for himself, but now the eyes are on him. So because the eyes are on him, he is taking over the spotlight and is proving himself with a couple of subjects. Now, and with this, I do want to say something about it, but I'm going to go ahead and play the video. And then you go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you think about it. So anyway, let's go ahead and hit it. Let's go ahead and rock this out so we can hear what the man have to say. Today we have Valiant on the show. Hi, Valiant. Hi. So I just want to know, what's your response to Mr. Morgan's coming from? So and so far, I do like the idea that he set this up like an interview, like it's a podcast type of thing. So, and he's going to explain with the song, you know, and I don't have to lay it out, but you kind of see that, how that, how that works. So, it's a, first of all, it's a, a really good concept because that's one of the biggest thing right now is podcasting considering that's exactly what i'm doing right now you know what i mean so hey you have a recording of the statement let us know what you think damage music i heard my son played a youtube video and he wasn't playing it because he looked for it it was just on his tablet and i hear bones ticking and then i'm going to Back of the class, and I'm a subject. I may say, when did books become fashionable? Please don't judge me. Just let school and not so bad. Don't call me, don't say. I'm working for friends. I'm still from my teeth of bed. People be a poor town, run around. We live for the other country. We live for the other country. Something. People 
say on this on this subject here is the fact that many people right see this and they hear all they hear is the dunce and not listening to the full concept of the song and listening first of all it's just a song right granted songs and people do have influence on some children, on some people. Some people are some children who don't have any guidance or who don't know the right from wrong. Now, those who, like the year in the beginning, right? Um, and, and, and I wish I could remember the guy's name right now, right? Because he was uh, interviewed as well. But, and that was a guy who was in his kid's life enough so where you can he seen and heard the song right on youtube and made a comment on it so his child does not necessarily have to worry about whether or not a song will influence him because you are the one who's supposed to influence like i just got to say you know if your child is looking at me to be a looking at me to be influenced by you had you had already failed as a parent right so that's the first thing right and then the next thing is do do you remember when you first graduate high school and you're trying to find your way you know Basically, dunce is not just talking about, hey, yeah, I'm going to go to school and I, I'm going to learn nothing. Because first of all, when you go to school, a lot of the stuff that you learn, you don't even you don't even use again after you leave there. You go ahead and get a job, and the job that you get has nothing to do with the subject that you went to school for, whether high school or you go to um, college or university or whatever, right? And then you get the job. And it has nothing to do with what you went to school for. You can go to school for accounting, for um, bookkeeping, and then next thing you know, you get a job and it's, you know, taxi driver, or now you're a, you know, a, a store owner, or, you know, um, factory worker. It has nothing to do with that. Numbers is always good. That's a universal thing. No matter where you go, one and one will always equals two, right? But at the same time, you cannot go ahead and condemn the kids because you've got to remember when it, how it was when you first started off. You can't expect somebody who's young to have the same wisdom that you have as an old 30, 40, 50 year old person. It's impossible. And if you do have somebody that do have that kind of wisdom, you know, he he or she is gifted, to say the least. And many people will be following them for, for generations. If they use it, if they use it properly. They use that gift properly. Right? So, 
you can't you can't expect someone starting off in their twenties to have the same wisdom as someone in their thirties to have. And you can't expect somebody in their thirties to have the same wisdom as someone in their forties. And same go you know, it it goes on. Same thing goes continually. Right? The only thing that you have in life is that is very important is time. That's why when a young person dies, it's, it's, it, 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 it doesn't just affect the family. It affects everybody surrounding them, especially now you have somebody who's young and talented and has potential, and then they die young because now they lost time. Nobody gives a damn about the, the money that they have. Nobody who give a bum book. Excuse the language. Who care about, you know, the clothes that he had and, and the car that he drives and, you know, nobody cares about that. You know what people worry about? But people always, always comment on the time that they lost. I had a father the other day um, talking about his girl who died. And she's about 25, I think, right? And she dies, and then he says, you know what, I will not be able to go ahead and have any grandchildren. I will not be able to walk my daughter down the aisle. I will not, time is what he's referring to. That time he will never be able to get back. That time, those memories, those moments, is something that you can never have, right? So we look and we, as adults, go ahead and fail these people. Want them to be perfect. That's not going to happen. Let's... All right, before we start, now this is the second part. This is Dunn's Check, right? And this was the first song we come on. This come up about almost two weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, right? So, I mean, I got to do a second part to this and the reaction to this one. And this is going to be, um, and I did this in reverse because I, this, you know, I was listening to it and seeing how um, effective this one happened, definitely happens to be, you know? So, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, this is Valiant Dunce Check, okay? And... Again, thank you very much for visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. And let's go ahead and get right into the new video. Well, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> okay. You're retired. Don't shake your cones, I'm not just gonna look sick. No, 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 I don't sit. Back of the class, man, I'm a subject. I'm not even going to be my one upset. Stitch, I'm not going to be my one upset. I'm not going to be my one upset. I'm not going to be my one upset. Yo, I'm on the other subject. Subject. I'm on the other subject. Grab chat. My dad, I got steam flow. New fried. Got a car. Science. One door. Right on. Idiot, fat lady. You will pump belly. Can't hold a pump belly. Got chicken in my ears. Can't send him down a medi. May have the soul. She is full of the foot belly. Don't shake your cones. I'm not just going to look sick. No, 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 no. I don't sit down. Back of the class, man, I'm a subject. Uh, Even got a girl in order to be my one upset. Stay chick up in my yard, but she's not drunk yet. Drink yeah. me for an hour, don't make she get upset. Yo, I'm on the other subject. Okay. Yo, I'm on the other subject. Good chat, girl, I party. I had beats like a facade. Good ones think like me, I dog shit. Girl, I scream out harder. The clothes getting back, but I'm a rock harder. All right, so first of all, from what I see, this is basically just young people having fun. I'm nothing wrong with people having fun. 
Now, yeah, the man used dunce, but so friggin' what? Me, I, I remember, who did have the song now? Where he had a song where he talking about going to um, Bellevue. And you like going to Bellevue. What's that, Goofy? Anyway, you know, you know exactly what I thought about. So, you know, in every generation, you have somebody who sings song and it's just meant to be fun. Just take it as that. It's just meant to be fun. Anyway. We go past the glass now. Don't shake it or come to make the school upset. No, 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 I don't say. Fuck the class, man, I'm a subject. No, I'm done, girl, and I'll be my one upset. She got the money out, but she's not drunk yet. She got the money out, but she's not drunk yet. You want money out of the subject? You want money out of the subject? Girl, dad, my dad, skin glow, you fried. So basically, what he's talking about is, you know, first of all, it's just him, it just, I you to have, I have fun, man. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. The kids having fun, right? And like I said, he's, you know, he's basically talking about, yo, I'm not on a subject, I'm not on a, I mean, I have the education, but, you know, not educa education is not what I need right now. People, they are, you know, we're hungry. We have hungry belly, and we want something to eat, and we want things, and education is not everything. Nothing wrong with education, because everybody needs it. Everybody needs something. You have to learn from somewhere, you know. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get it from school. Like you can get educate. You can get education from school, and it doesn't bring you anywhere. Depending on how it's being used, depending on what you get from it. Some people can use it and get money, and some people can't. And then you're just thinking about most of the people that are rich don't even have a college education. And then drop out of college. Right? So unless you're going to become a scholar and teach someone else, where you need the education for? Right? Now, if I say, and we say, if you, for those who um, can't do, teach right and just think about it as a, as a parent that's exactly what most parents do they have a dream the dream didn't work out and they live vicariously through their children and they try to push on the dream that they had that could they could not fulfill on their children no y'all gonna tell me said yo that these people, you know, they they need to do something other than other. You know, they need to do something um, other than um, trying to be successful, trying to have ambition, trying to go for their dreams. What do you mean? And again. You can't expect someone who's 20, 25, 18 to not be thinking about fun. Everything can't be um, education, education, you know, um, praise Father God and everything like that because you don't get up every day and live and eat and work in church. Roads need for bill. Um, you need doctors. You need lawyers. You need the guy who sell the beer. You need the guy, the woman who sell soup. You need the vendors. You need everybody. 
that's what creates a community that's what creates a culture that's what creates a society everybody doing something and chipping in whatever it is how big and how small it doesn't matter how big or how small you need the maid you need the butler you need you know so the housekeeper the truck driver the bus driver you know those who sell groceries those who farm and grow the groceries so without that what do we have here what are we talking about so of course you gotta expect that the music is going to um reflect that as well Well, I want everybody to go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what you think about the two videos, um, Scholar and Don't Check. And tell me what you think. Is this a good one? <laughs> Is this a bad one? Do you like it? And what do you feel about the comments that I made? Do you agree or disagree? Because in life... Life is about experiences. And if you're not having experiences, you're not living life. So until next time, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye.